Welcome back to the last hour of BYU Football Media Day 2015. These are the live web chats, and we have quarterback Taysom Hill and the elite wide receiver Mitch Matthews. How are you guys? Doing great. Doing great. Always I've seen good. you both individually put on makeup today. That's probably a unique experience. How's that been? No, when I got married, my wife made me do it every day. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Every day. I was like, I thought you were going to say for your wedding. And no. I was going to be like, wow. I actually, no, this is the first time I've ever done it. I come up here every morning for school, get ready and for practice and put on some makeup. So it's Good. nothing out of the ordinary. Good. I heard eyeliner is your favorite. Eyeliner is my favorite. Okay. Makes my eyes, eyes bulge. Yeah, I never got the colored pops. eyes like Taysom, but... My brown eyes can bulge with the uh, eyeliner, so it works. You, you got a ways to go, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, a little that's bit. That's why Mitch is still not married. <laughs> <laughs> I am. But I'm curious, how come, harsh. How come Mitch, harsh. Mitch got the elite receiver and I was just the BYU? Thank you, oh, just, Thank you, I know. I mean, they've made t-shirts after Mitch. and Hard work. Hard work dedication. and dedication. Yeah. Yeah. intensity. Yeah. Don't work hard. Pure intensity. athleticism. Play, making plays. It's okay. that simple. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Make it so, guys, this is this is it for you, probably, right? You yeah. get to go home after this. I've got one more. I think I got one more. Oh, dang it! I, so, I but it's I was okay. Really like, yeah. just this is the yes. grand finale. Yeah. You should have just said yeah. yes. Save the best for last. So, you guys have done those promos with Spencer and Jerem. You went laser tagging. You played basketball and bowling, and bowling with them. Yeah. What? Well, I mean, that's a unique experience for a college athlete because no other school kind of has a facility and and a uh, broadcast station like this. What's that like, just kind of being in the spotlight and having to do things like that, Taysom? Yeah, it's super fun, right? Like, you, you see, like, the big-time athletes, the pro athletes, do little fundraising things like this, and uh, it's, it's really fun. We all see the commercials, and we're like, yeah, that commercial is really fun. And to have the opportunity to do that uh, it is fun. And you get to hang out with, with good people and get to know Spencer and Jerem and... Uh, it, it was really fun to be part of it. The goofballs. Yeah. And they and they all now think you're they're like part of your posse because they're gonna do stuff like that <laughs> with you guys. Nice to hang out and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're bros. A, a text every morning. <laughs> but you know, like Taysom said, it's, remember that uh, one time we played basketball? That was cool. Yeah. yeah. Totally every day you ask the same yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But it was fun. I had a good time. It's when I was bowling with those guys. Uh, there was kids that recognized who I was and they wanted to be in the video, so we invited them to come in. They probably made their day, hopefully. And it's just fun to see guys that recognize you, and it's fun to be able to do things like this that other universities might not have the opportunity to do and to see professional athletes do it and we get a little bit of that glimmer it's a lot of fun. You both are seniors this year what is going to have to happen this season in order for you to look back and say I made the most out of that season we'll start with you. I need Mitch to catch the ball right like <laughs> I, I, yeah. that's a good start. I, I'm working on it I, I like, every day every day I'm working on it. You know I, I think um I think my mentality, right, I think from the, the public's standpoint, they get caught up on wins and losses. And like at the end of the day, so do I, but um, I think for us to reach our full potential, like the time that we have right now to prepare for the season is really important. And if I feel like we have reached or I have reached my full potential and we have as an offense, like as I look back on that, um, it will will have extremely fond memories, and that's kind of my mentality. So no specific numbers per se, just kind of the feeling that you have after that you've given it your all. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, look, Mitch and I have individual goals together, you know, um, and we have numbers like that that uh, can equate to having a successful season on an individual level, but. Um, the, the idea that I'm getting at, the wins and losses, they don't equate to success, right? Um, being able to work hard right now and preparing for a season and leaving everything out on the field so when I look back, it's like, hey, yeah, we made out of one every game, but we worked extremely hard to do it, and, uh, and then I can look back and have fond memories over it. Mitch, I see you thinking hard over there. What is your answer to that question? What's going to be a successful season for you? It's super similar to what Taysom said. I think it's uh, maximizing our potential. Right? I, I couldn't stand uh, three years on the road or 10 years or 20 years on the road looking back and say, we had an awesome team, but I didn't do everything I needed to do as a leader and a senior to make sure that those freshmen, sophomores had, a, had their great experience or we won enough games because I, I wasn't doing my part. You know, I want to make it so special for everyone. Obviously, wins and losses is what's going to make that special. But I, I truly do believe that it's my job, his job, and Jamal's on the offense to make sure that we're at our best when we need to be. And that's what makes a great team. A lot of aggressive words have been used to describe the mentality of the team today. People have said hungry, strike, hunt. What's changed on the team that's kind of formed that mindset for this season? 
uh, speaking for, for us, so I won't speak for Mitch, I'll speak <laughs> for myself, but knowing that it's my senior year and then coming off an injury, I, I've had the opportunity to, to look back and realize what it's meant playing at BYU and uh, not wanting to squander the opportunity. That's where it's come from for me. I like that. What about you, Mitch? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of words I can describe this, and I just think the biggest thing that I'm focused on is establishing a, a culture of perfection. You know, I really want that. I, I expect that out of myself, and uh, I expect that out of him. I expect him to be perfect because, I mean, he's the guy throwing me the touchdown, so I, got, I expect him to be perfect. And I think establishing a culture starts with me, him, and Jamal, the senior guys that have been here and, and have played and had success. And I think that uh, we established that, and culture will beat scheme, culture will beat speed, and I think that culture is what's going to help us win games and make it special. What just happened right there? I mean, what was that little A little grin? flirting. You said for, yeah, a little, a little mid, flirting, yeah, is what I, flirting is what I noticed. Yeah, he's got to get it out. He's got to get it out sometimes. He's married, Mitch. Yeah, I, 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 won't, I won't tell you what Mitch did to me earlier on an interview. No, go ahead and tell us. Let's hear. No, I, just, I was working my glutes this morning, so I had to show no. up my glute work. I'm sitting at an interview, like, looking at the person conducting the interview, and he stands on a chair behind me and bends over. Well, I mean, I, like I said, I did squats this morning. I had to show him the nice firm butt in the pants. So I, I couldn't let it go. I am starting to get a little more concerned you're not married right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The further this interview goes I am, out. too. Yeah. Right, like, yeah, you know, I mean, the coaches asked me to focus on football. That's what I did. So now it's time. I got six months before I leave. I got to find the one. You know what I mean? I yeah. Know, dude, whatever. I mean, he, does not, he doesn't believe he, in me. He, he spends a little too much with the single guys on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Taysom, if you could give him a, a bit of dating advice, what would it be? Oh, uh, so, in order to get married, like you need to actually hang out with women, girls, you know, like okay, girls. girls. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's probably that's girls. that's that's the best. Yeah, I know, once a year, I'm, I'm, once a year, I'll take a girl out. But uh, girls, okay. That's an, so I mean, not, if she's not, the one. That's it's not fine. guys golf week every week. <laughs> There's actually dating involved. Yeah, he's he's married married to his his golf clubs right yeah, now. Yeah, right now. Yeah. My nine iron is smoking, <laughs> smoking hot. Speaking of, I mean, you guys have quite a bit of time before the season starts. Not a ton of time, but a little bit of off time. What do you do in your spare time, Taysom? So I'm actually I'm I'm doing an internship right now um, at Paleon Venture Partners. It's a, a venture fund in Salt Lake. So I work out in the mornings. And I drive up there in the uh, late mornings and work, and work till the evening, so I'm pretty busy. What does that entail? Uh, so a lot of different things. A lot of stuff I do is project-based. So um, right now I do a lot of, a lot of uh, company valuations and doing a lot of due diligence on companies to say if this is, a, this is a good investment for us or not. So if the NFL doesn't pan out, that's kind of your, your go-to? Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Trying to create opportunities to continue to, to be successful and I think one of the experiences I had last year after breaking my leg is that football is going to be a means to an end yeah. and it's going to end at some point, right? Um, it's not a matter of if, it's, it's when, so I need, I need a backup plan. I think that's a smart mentality that maybe a lot of players have forgotten where they yeah. just have, you know, their main goal is the NFL and then they're not sure what they're going to do after that. Yeah, so, so being married, right, it like gives me a unique perspective. <laughs> you gesture to him. Being <laughs> married. Yes, kind of let, me, towards me. let me give you another oh, suggestion. Gosh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so my backup plan is golf. That's what it is. Backup plan okay. is golf. Mm. I'm going to join the BYU like golf PGA team Tour. so I can be here oh. for another four or five years then Bro, find my wife. Over. Yeah, no, it's club now. It's a, there's a club golf team, so I'll be on. So you can play as, as long as you're still in school. I'll take a half credit class and just continue no, on. So is there really a club golf team? <laughs> no. no. I'm okay. going to start it, though. Okay. Start it up. So I can, yeah, I'll join it with five you. Five more years to find I'll my join wife. join it with you. Yeah. yeah. We'll take just it keep, over. Just keep doing different majors. We'll take, yeah, we'll take hey, it over. Keep playing golf. Could we write your number on the board? And like put it up oh, for like, <laughs> single women. If it's for five Could seconds, no call. longer. Could we do that? Five seconds, no longer. Bro, are you kidding me? There's Mitch, pause. There's it's pause DVR. One. Like there's rewind and pause. It's 2000. Now, now, that, you're, now, now that you're reminded, and that's gonna that's possible. <laughs> okay, so you guys seem like your friends. <laughs> what is gonna make you guys the best combo this season as quarterback and receiver? Uh, yeah, look, I, I think it's it's the the talent. Um, that's there, right? I think we definitely get along. We we came in together. We've been friends ever since. But um, I, I don't want to burst Mitch's, you know, blow his head up too big. So maybe just have him close his close his ears or something. But I honestly, like, I don't I don't think there's a 
I've never played with a better receiver than Mitch um, and his ability to make plays on the ball and get open and um, as a quarterback it creates uh, great opportunities for us to be successful so um, Mitch works hard he does all the right things but just just because of his, his sure ability to make talent or make plays sorry um, will allow us to, to be really successful. Mitch, what's it like? Aw. Thanks, thanks, man. That was a really tender moment. Thanks, man. I thought I saw it. We can rewind that to replay messy. that too on the. Yeah, what he's messy. Messy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh. So, Mitch, <laughs> what's it like to play with an elite quarterback such as Taysom Hill? It's a lot of fun. It's something I'll never forget. Um, it, it makes it, it makes my job so easy. You know, there's 11 players on defense. Ten of them have to be watching Taysom, and one watches me. You know, because. If they can't stop him, they lose. And if they can stop him, if they find a way to stop him somehow, then there's a lot of other options, and I'm one of them. And so he's really good at finding me. Um, like you said, I, I, there's a way that me and him have chemistry in the past that we, you know, he throws me the ball and I catch it. And that's just one of those things that we've always done. And um, it's a lot of fun to have all eyes on him and I have to be one guy and I'll score, then I'll take that any day. And it's because of his skill that makes us good. Maybe you guys will be on a program such as Four Decades of Dominance. I like that. A little bit, uh, a we'll little be bit on down stage. the road. We hope so. We hope so. Okay, we're going to move on to something a little more exciting. We're going to put your number on the tender. whiteboard. Yeah. Oh, God. We're She's going to flip it. My number is going to be on there. It's it. Mitch Matthews' phone yeah. number. <laughs> Can I put your number on there? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I'm Actually, not going to tell you. You really need your phone out. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, what we're going to do, we're going to show some <laughs> kid pictures of some players on your team. And you guys have to look and guess which of your teammates it is, okay? Okay. Okay, let's start with the first one. <laughs> we're oh, we're going to start with the obvious Come one. On. We're just starting with the obvious ones. I've actually seen this picture before. Well, that's cheating. Are you ready? <laughs> if you guys got this wrong, we might have to uh, reevaluate some Are you ready for it? Yeah. Ready? Go ahead and reveal. Yes. Yeah. What was that? Oh, in a picture. They will hold hands. That's really cute. Yeah. How adorable are they? Kate, let's go to the next one. Look at this. I have to do everything for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clean as yeah, a whiteboard. Yeah, so cute. Okay, who's that? Oh, boy. Are we allowed to help getting... each other or was this a competition? Nope, nope, it's a competition. Gosh, dang. There are winners and losers in the game of life and everything you do. Yeah, that's true. Don't look. <laughs> Bro, this is an easy one. No, it's not. One, two, three. No! You're both wrong, Fred. Oh, whoa! <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, I can see that. Can you see that? Gosh that. dang it. Dude, why don't you just hang on to that thing? Oh, there's two? Such a Kay. cute little kid. Gosh dang it. Okay, this, this next one's my absolute favorite. Okay. My absolute favorite. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I know that one. Yes. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only one player you're who not, you're a not cowboy th hat. You're not throwing us a curveball, right? Like, I can't tell you. Okay, ready? Two, Reveal. One, two, three. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. He hasn't that was even a good, changed. The cowboy, that's yeah, solid. No, that's he hasn't solid. even changed. That was a dead giveaway. Okay, we have the last and final one. So you guys are tied. Yeah. With one. We need it. We need a tough oh, one. Oh, two. We have the juggies. Oh, Is that boy. <laughs> ugly kid. <laughs> oh, we have two more after this. <laughs> what is that? Oh, what? I know who that is, dude. That's Not easy. even who, but what? <laughs> you know who that is easy? I know oh, who that is. Pooch and Boo Boo? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Wait, like, can we go back? Oh, gosh. I don't even know what he got. I actually the don't know. Of that. There you go. Dude, what? actually, I see it. It's easy, dude. When you hear the name, you'll know exactly who it is. <laughs> Pooch, I have Pooch and no Bobo. Bro, you, you're on a time limit okay. though. Yeah, five seconds. Oh, I'm gonna guess a no. There's no way. <laughs> this is no. <laughs> there's no way. One, two, three. <laughs> no, what? Kyle. Oh, what the heck? Go back there. Taysom takes that? the lead. I told you, dude. That is Kyle Johnson, oh, that bro. That is so Kyle Johnson. He's too skinny. <laughs> See that that's that's quarterback lineman relationship. Yeah, that's like. not that's not fair. Give me a DB or something. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That's bad. Oh my gosh. Is this Some people do not change. 
and that fine young man is one oh, of them. Gosh, that is bad. <laughs> where's his mother? I don't, where's Staines. his... I don't know how to spell his name. Isn't there two A's in there yeah. somewhere? I don't know. But how do you know that's the right answer? What are they? <laughs> Switch the A. Is it two A's at the... <laughs> Good yeah, thing you weren't in the Jamal. spelling competition that we did earlier in the day. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, player's name. That was hey. easy. So you, Is guys that are, it? you guys are tied. No, we have no, one I more. Won. Oh, no, you, you are we, up by we one. can tie. You are up by one. Yeah, so, I'm up by one. Yeah, but we, so if you get this wrong, I right, we tie. If Mitch gets this one and you miss it, then it's so a tie. tie. I'm not going to miss Jason it. Wins. Who's this? Oh, boy. Ooh, this is a tough one. Gosh dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know who it is, dude. I think I know no who it is. Way, yeah, dude. I think I do. <laughs> oh, I love what's happening right now. Hold on. Can we go back to the picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Wait, 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 wait. Mitch is drawing pictures over here. Mitch. <laughs> One, ready? two, Reveal. three. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> that is cheating, man. That's Look at that you. kid, dude. Look at that kid. Look how cute that kid is. That's not fair. I mean. <laughs> That's a tie. Ball game. Peter, that's, dude. Tie. Yeah, that's, a, that's offensive, Peter. Your mom didn't send us a picture, Tayson. Uh, that's so. right, Dang it. Okay. Way to Is go, that Mitch. It? Are we no, still he, going? he actually tied. You didn't win. You didn't win, but we're going to. Whoa, what is that? What's going on? Oh, is that the winner? <laughs> yes. Is that the winner? No, okay. Yeah, but in, that shouldn't in count. In my ear, they're Bro, dubbing you, you the winner. You can't count and your want, own baby. We want you to give a speech <laughs> right into the camera here. Maybe oh some shout outs. Oh, I think he's writing his number. Just want to shout out my mom. For uh, putting my picture up, she's a wonderful lady, and uh, I'm a winner since day one. Taysom can never handle. An elite. I'm an elite contest winner. winner, contest winner, golfer, single, not hey. for long. <laughs> hey, last time we played golf, who won, dude? He, Mitch wanted me to mention that three years ago he beat you in one on one. Three years ago basketball. I beat Taysom in one on one. He, by he one. did. He did give me a bloody lip though, but I still pulled through in one. Mitch, you've come a long way you since that, your high chair. Look at You're that coming thing. really long. All right, oh, don't, let's not sign off yet. <laughs> okay. Bye, right, guys. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. This is actually happening. This is actually happening. Give him right a now. call. He needs help. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. <laughs> let's take I some hope number. You take some number. number. <laughs> this could be bad. Oh gosh. This could be bad. Do you guys have uh, a favorite sports movie that you grew up with? Remember the Titans? Probably that was remember the classic, Titans. Yeah. Remember the Titans? Classic. Both of your favorite. That's like a perfect. Yeah. yeah was our How little, come? Just, uh, um, go ahead. Left side. The combination of like. You guys both what those, left me hanging on that. Was that? I said left Strong side. side. Strong and side. Strong side. It's completely Strong ignored side. me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. offensive players though. Oh, yeah, so we're like, not that's that kind of our yeah, element. That's the classic tagline. Yeah, Coach Boone was a Coach Boone was a great guy. <laughs> he was. Uh, it was a good. Guy. It was a good movie <laughs> one, but actually the scene where um, Julius ru runs down the guy from I, I don't know what. Um, when they were losing. When they were losing, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, out yeah. and the ball with the acting was terrible, but it somehow was the best movie of all time. You and know he that, teared up yeah, He's yeah, running yeah, like yeah. this, and up. the guy comes up and strips the ball away. So I, I like the adversity that they had to go through, right? Both like um, integrating two different cultures, and then not only that, but then injuries and everything else. And uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a good movie. It, it really cool. is the best. Yeah. Yeah. The bottom line, Roman Titans is the all time best sports movie. It Guys, is. we shared some laughs. <laughs> I loved it. Thanks for being here with good. us. Thanks up for next, us. we're going to have some special guests from the four decades of dominance coming up.